We begin the process of enabling the snipping tool feature in Windows 2, Server 2012 or 2012 R2 by launching an administrative PowerShell session here. By, to do so, just right-click your PowerShell icon and choose Run as Administrator. And don't let PowerShell frighten you off. It is really a rather useful tool uh, for configuring features and other uh, commands and options in Windows. Now, from the ad administrative uh, PowerShell window here, type in this rather lengthy commandlet. Okay, this uh, PowerShell commandlet is actually enable hyphen Windows optional feature space hyphen online space hyphen feature name space user hyphen interfaces hyphen infra. Now, once this command is typed in, go ahead and hit your enter key. PowerShell will give you the ooh command or option showing that it is working and once you receive the path online and restart needed confirmations that means that PowerShell is completed so let's go ahead and close out our PowerShell box and now open server manager okay give the dashboard a minute or so just to populate it's just gathering some information into the server manager dashboard and once it seems to be done go ahead and click add roles and features then your add roles and features wizard box pops up the before you begin box is just an informational uh, box here you can go ahead and click next to skip it the add roles and features wizard now has a selection of our select installation type and it's highlighted for role based or feature based installation which is correct click next and the server selection now you may have more than one server down here I've got several so to highlight the, uh, the server you want to install or activate the feature on and up here you'll see select from a server or uh, select a server from the server pool or virtual hard disk. Now we're not working with virtual disk or virtual machines or anything so the selection uh, of the server pool is correct. Once your server is selected go ahead and click next. Now we're actually on the server role screen here and we're not actually uh, enabling a role we're actually enabling a feature so you can go ahead and click next to skip the screen down to the and get to the features now what we're looking for is actually the desktop experience this is a feature that we want to actually uh, activate now the desktop experience feature will be located under the user interfaces and infrastructures uh, title so scroll down until you find user interfaces and infrastructure which is right here and as you can see this one says that I have two of the three features installed go ahead and click your arrow to expand it and here is your desktop experience. Go ahead and select that. Now, when you select that, you will have another box that pops up, possibly, you may not, that says hand or ink and handwriting services. This is an additional feature that needs to be added with uh, the desktop experience role. So go ahead and choose add feature and click next. The confirmation screen will just show you what is going to be installed and also you'll see a box up here that says restart the destination server automatically if required. Now this will require a restart however I never check this box I want to make sure everything looks like it's good to go before I actually do a restart so I leave this box unchecked. Go ahead and click install. Now this process of installation will take a few minutes and as I said once it's through it, you will be prompted to do a restart and what I will do is pause the video at this point and come back uh, when the restart prompt is being shown. 
The Windows snipping tool has been successfully enabled on this server. Unfortunately, I was not able to capture the dialog box that prompted a restart. However, I did restart the system and to verify that the snipping tool feature is in fact enabled, let's just do a search for it. And as you can see, the snipping tool feature is enabled and ready to go. Thank you for watching.